forgot how to open the case because if you were to open it upside down, you would probably break the instrument, so that would be bad. So your case has latches, so okay. you want, if it's going to pop, the latches to pop up. So if it was upside down, you would have to push them down. Okay. So that you want to pop them up and then just carefully open the top of the case. Okay. And yeah, see, yours doesn't have, in mine, it has a, um, a little clip that holds it in. Oh, maybe not. Right here. So if I was to open mine upside down, nothing would happen, but yours would just clearly fall out. Okay. And you always want to open it on the floor and not on your lap because you don't want it to slip off your okay. lap. Two ways to do pizzicato, which is just plucking the strings. Okay. You can either put your first finger on this side of the fingerboard and pluck with your thumb. We'll tune it after. Okay. Or you can put your thumb on the top and pluck with your first finger. Whichever one's more comfortable. I do it with my thumb. Okay. But I am going to use my first finger. Okay. String, we're going to go from the G to D to A and E and then all the way back down. Okay. So I'll do four and then I'll, you'll do four and then I'll do four and then okay. I'll do four. Okay. So that. play four of them in a row and if it's out of tune I want you to try to fix it the next time okay, okay. You sing do re do do re do. Good. So when you put your first finger down, that's going to be an E, and that's going to be re. So this is okay. what it should sound like. Good. So now let's try doing four in a row. So. So when you pick it up, when you, we, we're going to watch our hand for now. So when you pick it up, make sure it goes right back down in the same spot. In the same spot. Okay. But no, notice how your thumb is yeah. going out. So maybe just relax a little bit more. Okay. So what is this called? Uh, the scroll. The peg wax. The pegs. The neck. Mm -hmm. um, what is Fingerboard. It? Yep. Strings. Front, body, a pole, inside, a uh, sound pillar, oops, post, of course. That's okay. Um, uh, bridge. What does it kind of look like? I don't remember. Tailpiece. Oh, okay. Um, so that's tailpiece. Chin rest. Um, fine tuners? Yep. Button. Yeah. Focus on your E being right. There it is. A little higher. Oh, no. See? Yeah. Yeah, there it is. Yeah. Two more times. I keep forgetting about my pinky. It's okay. No. Yep. Good. Two more times. 
So see how mine looks like a box? Yeah. So try to make that happen. Okay. That's good. Yeah, that's a little better. Okay. And then your two is just an elongated box because obviously this part is bigger. Okay. And your hands are small, so it's oh, a little bit... Oh, that's way better. Yeah. So okay. it doesn't need to be totally square, like... Okay. But it doesn't... You don't want it to be flat fingers because okay. then you're going to be touching multiple strings and you don't want that. So that looks better. So let's just do Do, Re, Mi once more. Good. So the only thing I noticed was your one was a little bit sharp in the last two yeah. measures. So just make sure to keep that um, in tune on the way down. Okay. Also, you don't want all these fingers. I know. On. Uh, it's okay. This one. So just focus on having your first finger, and these ones can just stay tucked okay. up into your hand. We're going to put it up on your left shoulder and your chin and jaw. Your It doesn't have to be your chin fully on, but you also don't want to lay your ear on it. So you okay. just want it comfortable. Yeah, that looks good. So our left hand, we already talked about in guitar position how it sits between um, mm -hmm. your thumb and your first finger. And your thumb, you don't want to be squeezing, right? You just yeah. want it to be kind of resting on this base knuckle of your first finger. Mm -hmm. So then your, remember how we talked about how your fingers shouldn't be like guitarists, and you want your knuckles to point towards what? The, the scroll. Yep. Good. So then you don't want your hand... Right now, it looks a little bit forward. Yeah, that looks good. And you want your elbow just to be hanging. You don't need it to be out okay. or under. So just want to be comfortable. So now let's try hot crisp buns. I'll go first, okay. and then you go. Watch my fingers. Have your palm up of your right hand. Oh, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you're going to lay the bow across this part of it, across um, your between the first and second so I knuckles. Pick it up with my left hand, right? And then I lay it on my right hand, but closer down to the front. Yep, see how my pinky is? Yep, a little bit down. Okay, and now you're going to place your thumb in between the hair and onto the stick. Yep, looks good. And then you're just going to try to take off your left hand and then flip. And that should be a comfortable bow hold. So if you need to practice that a couple times, I'm going to have you practice that a couple times at home. So okay. the steps are palm up, lay the bow in between your top knuckle, so right between here, of each inch, of each finger. And your pinky should be close to as close to the end of the frog as possible. But you're gonna do it with the other hand. Oh, oh wait. Yeah. Why am I confused? Oh. So you're gonna hold the end of the bow with like your that. left hand. Like yeah, that, like that. Then your thumb goes in between, and then you take your left hand off and you flip. Because it's gonna be like this, right? Yeah, On the violin. This is way easier. Good. Okay. How do I go back? So okay. you want so. So you want to do every note you play a different direction. direction. So this okay. is a down bow and this is an up bow. So rock up. Oh, okay. okay. I'll play first and then you play. Okay. 